S210E blast wheel change procedure. To begin the blast wheel change procedure, you will first need a new Impax Americas blast wheel kit, M13 and M17 wrenches, M24 socket and ratchet, and a hammer or wood block to block wheel. Begin by removing the urethane feed spout. Then loosen the clamps on the top and bottom of the control cage. Remove the control cage from the blast wheel and discard it. Then loosen and remove the four nuts that hold the blast housing cover. Remove the cover. Block the blast wheel for moving by wedging hammerhead or wood block between housing and blast wheel. Use the M24 socket wrench to loosen the wheel nut that holds blast wheel to wheel hub. Remove old blast wheel and discard it. On the back of the new blast wheel, locate the two notches. These notches are to line up with the two pins on the blast wheel hub. Place the new blast wheel on the hub and rotate it until you feel the pins and notches line up and blast wheel sit squarely on the hub. Insert wheel nut into blast wheel center and tighten on the shaft using the M24 Allen wrench. Use the hammerhead or wood block to lock wheel in place so as to fully tighten the wheel nut. Replace blast wheel housing cover and replace nuts. Tighten the nuts fully, but do not over tighten as the studs can be broken off if too much pressure is applied. Install new control cage and note the position should be with two notches at the 830 and 1030 position. Also, the blast wheel control cage should be centered in the opening. Do this by holding the control cage in the center of opening and placing clamps onto cage and hand tighten the nuts. Once it is held in place, completely tighten with wrench. Tighten the nuts fully, but do not over tighten as the studs can be broken off if too much pressure is applied. Next, replace the rubber feed spout.